welcome back to our channel. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed. We've gone from 400 to over a thousand just from our last video, which is about two days ago since yeah. we uploaded this. It's crazy. We've even had people on the Narabo forum actually dig out photos of our boat when it was like nearly new. Just goes to show how little we knew about our boat because it's actually <laughs> seven foot shorter than we thought and it's not even made by the same person. So. It's been so many colours as well, like at the moment it's green which the people that we bought it off just painted it quickly so it didn't rust anymore whilst it was out of the water, um, but when it was first built it was yellow and blue. It's an old black prince boat, it was originally called Jaguar. Do we want to incorporate that into maybe have like some Jaguar print on the outside somewhere else? We weren't expecting as much of a following as we've said. Um, we are going to do weekly videos, although I'm actually a mental health nurse and I'm going back to work tomorrow um, to fund this. You're going to be a little house husband, we'll aren't you? full time, yeah. <laughs> uh, so at the minute we're not going to be making masses of progress on the boat because I'm actually doing naval backup ready for sale, mm -hmm. which is a bit sad about selling already, but Mabel is going to help fund the boat as well as Danny working, so yeah. it's got to be done. So I'm spending like sort of 50 50 time on that at the minute. Then when the van sold, we'll be full time on here, so yeah. When I'm not working, we've got one car. <laughs> <laughs> so in this video, we're just going to show you our progress on the floor so far, which is literally lifting the ballast, scraping back, and painting. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoy this video. Oh, so sorry about the audio on the last video. I bought one of these little road MEL mics. Just I thought it would make the quality better, but it just made everything really quiet, so apologies on that. And music was a bit loud too, so sorry. You're too hard to understand. I can understand you, but I'm from around here. Can you speak slower? You're gonna put subtitles on, aren't you? For everyone far away. Our video has gone as far as America and Australia, and the Somerset accent is a little bit difficult for people to understand. When you when it's all cracked and a bit soft to the middle. Oh dear. It's too far for us water underneath. Oof. Long way to go. So we've been working on a boat for well, a couple of days, I'd say we've been working on this floor. We're scraping back all the old metal and then we're gonna coat it in bitumen paint. Um, we're doing like four bays at a time just because these slabs are about 40 kilos each and I don't want to move them more than we've got to. Then, it's just surprising how much metal we've brought up. Yeah, and then once we've painted it, although we've got this pipe that runs to the back, with the pump to get the water out. If there does get any water in here, it's not going to damage the existing metal anymore and hopefully it should just like slide down. And well, once the floor's down, we'll hopefully never see this again, but if we ever had to, it'll be easy to like clean and stuff. So it'll just be nice and shiny and bitchy. Three down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13 to go. What have you got there, mate? You're crunching away. Cranberry donut. Where from? Mmm, cheeky bean, but from... Levito Bakery. Levito Bakery, big up. Let's have a little close-up on that bad boy. Right. 
smell it already. Mm. Looks like treacle. It's I don't hot. think you're gonna smell it. Yeah. Good morning, we are back at our narrow boat. Just to catch up to speed of what we've been doing. Oh, my, my bird look about a leaflet. Um, so, let me turn you around. Long way to go, so we haven't done this bay because we need to access the water tank. Uh, these ones are now complete. We've put the slabs back down. Um, so these, you can see, are black. So we've, oh my goodness gracious, we've painted them with bitumen. We're now in the process of doing all the rest of them, because we've still got lots to go. Um, Joe done this one yesterday on his own, bless him. So we've got this one, and yeah, all the rest. We're gonna try and do four at a time and paint them. We just can't get them all up because there's nowhere to put them when we paint the bitumen. Yeah. In an ideal world, we would have taken them all up and done it at the same time, but it's just not as simple as that. So I think I've said before, they're 43 kilos each, and it's not just the fact of lifting them. They're like tucked in, they're, they're sort of the perfect size, they're 600 by 600. But one end's tucked in here, and then the other end's sort of tucked in there on the edges, so the end ones are quite tricky. Um, but it's just nobody like hands it, so yeah. trying to use a crowbar and just just to lift it enough to get in between. Oh, I'm gonna try and slam it out first. Open our insulation. Back all of these bits, but it's still like attached. So the spray foam was put in. We've soon discovered that, like building a van, it everything takes longer than you expect, and it's also worse in the sense that we don't have any power here. We could get a generator, although we don't have to like carry it or bring it back along the towpath all the time. We've just got to really think about. Whereas we had the luxury of having the van on our drive, so if we wanted to go get lunch or even just a different tool, we could go in and get it. Whereas here, you've really got to like plan plan for the day. We've had to buy like a few more 18 volt Makita stuff, like a sander, um, grinder and stuff, just because it's so much easier than lugging a generator all the way down here, yeah. when all I had to do was literally, one time I had to cut a couple bolts off there. I trimmed the doors down a bit. And then and that ran out of battery, so then you had to <laughs> put the door back on, and it was like, yeah, just needed another five minutes, but didn't have that, so. Hopefully we'll learn as we go anyway. Yeah, it's all learning.
So another four bays done today, we've just got to let them dry now and then we can do like a final scrub down with a wire brush and then paint them. Mm -hmm. Hold that. Look at my face. So we have completed the floor. Uh, four. The next four bays, um, wait for that to dry and then we can put the slabs back down. So whilst the floor is still up, I just want to show you our front deck, which has been sort of newly welded up. So all the water then drains into that hole through this pipe under the floor, right the way back into the rear bilge. Are you eating? He's alright. Eventually it can link up down through into the engine bilge. Where's it even coming from? Just where the seal to the side of the window between that and the metal. Right, this one's quite oh yeah, look at this. Oh wow. We haven't actually been over any heavy rain when you get rid of these windows. Yeah. Another one down there. Yeah. Look at this. It's going in the bucket though. It's actually catching it really well. It's gonna make it twice as heavy as it needs to be when we lift it off, but that's quite bad, isn't it? It's that heavy rain though. Know? So this is all newly bitumened. Just poured the hose. Hose, yeah. Hose through. And now to put the slabs back into here and repeat. Oh my god! <laughs> what are we doing? Just carrying on the like. Leave a gap in the middle and then figure it out after. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I, so. I don't know, not that many, I didn't know about this, but our is actually quite important because the boat's flat bottomed, it's not that like level, it sits however, wherever the weight is. Um, so you need quite a bit of ballast in the bottom. There's about two and a half tons of slabs in here. Um, and depending on where you're going to have like appliances and stuff, you need to counter, counter ballast? I don't know. Yeah. But put weight on the other side so it sits level, otherwise you'd you'll be, be like, on the wonk. Yeah. <laughs> Like when you're parked up in the van on the hill and can't just get the things up. But this, you can't just chuck levelling ramps underneath it. You've got, to be like, you've got to be quite mindful that you know where you're going to do Stuff's the going, layout yeah. before you put the floor down, because once these are down, you can't really do much. spray foam which is really quite handy because it's what we would have done anyway um, so we've just got to scrape back some of the foam these are where the floor beams are going to sit so we're just scraping these back so we can get the slabs up and then it's clean ready for the timber if we know. hard work We have some pasta with some pesto, wild garlic pesto that I made because it's in season now, and some wild garlic hummus and lentil taboo. Joe loves it when wild garlic's in season, everything's wild garlic, Everything isn't it? Wild garlic. <sighs> This looks really carb heavy, but oh. this um, garlic hummus is really good. Like it? Mm. <laughs> They're all that easy. <laughs> Thank you. 
proper job. <laughs> You've got to say in that accent. Proper job. I think they're only in Somerset and Gloucester. Maybe. Absolutely. It's one of it is a beast of the Southwest. <laughs> Ultimate, like DIY crossed home store. They got like crisps, which is quite important today. We need some sugar. Need some more scrapers because once we've been used on the floor, are oh, blunt. Uh, what else we'll get? Paintbrushes. That's for the van. Yeah. That's different. Interesting. Look at my Ooh, gloves. Care. They're so pretty. Morning. Morning. And your things is in the day. Okay. Daisy's my dog friend. And on the other one, Matley. Oh yeah, Matley. Matley's lovely too. And there's a cat. I don't know. I can't remember the cat's name though. There's Daisy. Here. Hey girl. Morning. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Here she is. Good news or bad news? Good news. Good news is this drains really well. Oh. Bad news is you said the bills that we just cleared out. Oh no. <laughs> it's full again. It must have proper rained. Yeah, it must have. That's the look, fill that up. It, it was, wasn't meant to rain. <laughs> oh well, at least once, we it's, can... once it's done, that pipe will be going into the rear building anyway. Yeah, and we can still paint these. We'll just have to be a bit mindful of that bit. <sighs> Mamma right. mia. Cup tea? Please. The actual good news was about the water coming in is now we have somewhere to chill our beers. Uh, not in that. Alright. No, put it in that at least. Joe, that's disgusting. Put it in that one. Right. Someone says you've got to make a tea out of the bilge water. on your pansies in. Joe doesn't want me to bring any pants over yet but I'm going to slowly bring them over so he doesn't notice. And I've got these little pansies from my owners. Look how cute they are. Little blue one. They still be in blossom. How much easier is that without a script, Joseph? <laughs> <laughs> so we've been flat out. Well, I say flat out. <laughs> Piece. Yeah. I'll put a piece, I'll get one. Good one? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I can't remember what I said now. It's dried and sweeped and ready to go. Bitumen, let's roll. Put the lid down. 
Yeah, just stop uh, a minute, you bloody weapon. I didn't realise my face looked like this. Joe said, go take a video of the uh, narrowboat that's just gone past, and I just waved at them and then looked at myself after. I look great. <laughs> Please. <laughs>